Hi, my name is Jonathan Randazzo, trombonist with the Santa Fe Opera and the North Carolina Symphony. Today I'm going to be talking to you about also Sparks' Arathustra. Now, the reason why I picked this is because many year, for many years as a student, I've really struggled with this excerpt and with my high range in general. Um, one thing teachers have always told me is to approach the upper register as if you're blowing out birthday candles or if you're yelling across the room. In other words, you want to engage the stomach muscles and have a higher pressure of air. Now, that's all well and good, and that's very useful for playing in the upper register. However, what often happens is you tighten your stomach, but all of this gets very tight as well. And that's sort of the wall that I kept hitting. And I couldn't figure out how to engage my core for the upper register notes, but at the same time, keep all of this relaxed. Now, I've created sort of a, my own little exercise to help fix that. Now, all you have to do, and you can do it away from the instrument, it's very simple. You tighten your stomach as if you're gonna play a high note, and you continue to talk. You can talk to whoever you're talking to. In this case, I'm talking to a video camera. So, and as you can tell, nothing has changed. The airflow is unrestricted. I sound normal speaking. And this is what you want to strive for. Now, when we take that and put it to the instrument, well, let's see what happens. As you can see, the upper register was nice and open. I hit the high D and the notes below it with relative ease, and it felt great. So that's what works for me. Now also, some other little add-ons to think about when you're going into the upper register. You want to blow the air down into the mouthpiece. You want to say E as you're ascending instead of ah. The reason for this is it raises the tongue it narrows the air channel that's coming out of your mouth and that will in effect speed up the air. Now doing all of these things at once can really help to get those upper register notes. Um, now when I'm playing I'm not necessarily thinking about all of these things. Um, the most important thing is to be inside the music, hear the orchestra excerpt, not just the excerpt, but the entire orchestra as you're performing. Um, and being, really being inside the music can really help go beyond just the technique and can get you motivated to overcome these obstacles, these technical obstacles. Well, I hope that you found this video informative and useful, and I hope you can take this exercise with you and see what that does for your upper register playing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hopefully we'll see you on our live Zoom sessions this summer. And if not, maybe in Santa Fe next year. Take care.